Dimitri, at what age did you start playing football? Well, I started playing football when I was five, five mm-hmm. or six, at five. Who made you get into football, or what influenced you to get into football? Uh, my dad really wanted me to play. My um, family, at first they were saying, like, it's too aggressive, all that. They didn't want me, like every other family did. But then after a while, they let them, let them, uh, they agreed to letting them play, let me play. So then, so ever since then, I just started playing. So who or what has been your biggest made of motivation so far with football? Um... I have to say my dad, mm-hmm. just because, you know, him just pushing me all the time, everything I do. And, uh, you know, he just he just gave me the – I got the love in football, but him just being there for me every day and just, you know, just doing what dad's supposed to do, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Help encouraging you along yeah, the way. So you have many offers to play at the next level, but you haven't decided yet. Is there any school you're leaning towards as of right now? Um, I want to say I'm leaning towards any school right mm-hmm. now, but – um, like I said, like I always say, I'm taking my time right now during my process, and I'm just waiting to see which school are messing with me the most. Mm-hmm. Really. Quarterback is a competitive mm-hmm. position to play at, but um, how come the weight? Uh, I got to, you know, for being a quarterback, you got to make sure that it's going to be, it's the, smart, it's the right decision, not chasing the biggest school or this, you know, not trying to go settle for the smallest school, just really for the school that fits and who's going to get you on the field. Mm-hmm. Did you have a dream school growing up? Uh, my dream school growing up always been Auburn. It's because I always wanted to be like Cam Newton. I always had to mock my game after Cam. Do you model your game after Cam Newton? Yeah. I mean, right now, as I got older, I try to be myself as much as possible. But, like, coming to high school, definitely, I wanted to be just like Cam Newton. And um, if you could play for any NFL team, who would it be? Oh, I'm a Denver Broncos fan. So How come? Definitely. You're an Ohio guy. You're from Central Ohio. Why the Broncos? So, my um, first team I ever played for, it was, it was in Groveport. We called it the, um, the Madison, Groveport Madison um Broncos mm-hmm. for like a little league or whatever and ever since then every Bronco team I liked. So what has been your favorite memory so far at Pickerington Central? Um, definitely winning the state championship and breaking the, the record with six touchdowns in the game so ever since that I just that really blew me up too and just made me love the school and love the game even more. How was that feeling for you to be able to accomplish that? Um, well during the time it didn't really hit me but now it's just, it's just a blessing and just like the feeling is just, it just feels real good. Like, mm-hmm. there's nothing really you can say about it. It's just, it's a blessing. What's your goal for the season? Uh, definitely win a ring and um, win a ring, get my team, be the best leader I can be, and, um, and um, find a home, you know, find a place mm-hmm. to commit. And um, how do you prepare for a football game? Do you have a pregame ritual? Is there, mm-hmm. are you superstitious in yeah. any way? Yeah, I'm very superstitious, but I have something I say. If I, I feel like if I tell people my superstitions, they won't. You know, I can't do it anymore. So can't give it away. Yeah, I can't give it away. That's <laughs> how I feel. But I'm very superstitious and um, mm-hmm. rituals. You know, I try to watch what I eat before the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I listen to certain music. I relax my mind. Then I might listen to something that pumps me up. Things like that. And what do you like to do when you're off time? Um, off time. I like to play the Xbox. Yeah, I with, feel like I'm pretty good at that. With as much off time as you can get, right? <laughs> right. I mean, if I'm not working now, I'm definitely trying to play the game. <laughs> and do you have a nickname that anybody calls you? What is it? Yeah, uh, Meech or M10. Where would that come from? I don't know. My uh, well, my grandma named my dad Meech. I'm not a junior. Mm-hmm. My dad's name is Demetric, but our middle names are different. So it's just, I guess she gave him that name. I don't know how it came from, but <laughs> that's just what happened. And M10 was, my name's Meech. And she, I threw the ball hard, missile 10. So that's what they started saying. Very fitting. Yeah. All right, Demetric, thank you for joining me and good luck moving forward. Thank you.